You see, that's a cantilever in your body. Right. That's making shapes. Um, with this limb, it's not a, a straight limb, then a straight limb from the spine. So they're not working together to give me a lift or propulsion. Yeah. It's a body that's actually making your body move inside. It's free. It can go away at once. Right. So that's cantilever. Right. Which is obeying the laws of tensegrity that our muscles are made of. <laughs> so whatever shapes, and put your body appropriately around that. That makes sense. Yeah. Do all the things that keep you on. And when you slip, you drop. Right. Right. Do you understand that? Right. There's a predictability to this kind of surface. You have to slip. Right. So don't come on and think you can't. <laughs> It's like if you go on ice, you can slip. Yeah. But you train yourself in all the properties of cohesion, body shape. So in that cohesive body shape, you're less likely to slip than in any other movement you would make with the body. You know, this is quite safe. You know, mm. but this isn't a critical angle, but it's enough for friction to take over. Yeah. It's, it's more than four on the, on the, on the uh, I think it's the F scale, mechanics, from, from vertical, F1, sorry. It's, uh, this is uh, about an F4. So you should start sliding down. But as you make movements with this kind of surface on your shoe, you're much more likely to slip. Some of these surfaces are wet, some are very shiny, some are warm. So you expect to slip. You got me? Yeah. But you, the investment in your movement is what to do if you did slip. <laughs> yeah. you, the investment in your movement is moving around. How do you move around on this surface and make your shape cohesive? So lightness is a factor that allows these kind of movements because you're not heavy. Yeah. Gravitationally, that should be hard on your shoulders. Right. So to come down here, you'll be like, huh, huh, huh. So you've got this fear of the fall. Yeah, definitely. But it, it's not, your spine's took over. Look. Yeah. That's, that's in charge. Mm -hmm. So if, if you stumble even, you could turn to this. Yeah. You don't go headlong. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd ask you, um, when you're balancing someone and you're on the floor when you're balancing them, you've got to be able to make the person's uh, body flow with your own and it's got to be lighter because if it's heavy you, you start hurt. So obviously these movements that you... Because it uh, allows you to step a long reach step, what I call a right. long reach step. So, so you get a full foot correct on here. Right. right. You've got to train the proprioception in your foot and your spine to be able to lift that up and then project it forward. Alright. Oh, so it's a long step. Yeah, it is. Uh, come on back. I'm going to go going back. Uh, is the same, you want that balance point and then that proprioception behind you. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So your lift is coming from the sacrum of your, your uh, femoral heads, triangulating down into your foot to send the receptors to give you this. You want that momentum when you suck up and right. then you can lift across and up. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the same coming down, there's a critical point and then you've got to reach behind you and know where that felt like in space and time. 